Do you ever wonder why the hell ancient structures are so massive that we cannot even comprehend what drove the point of their existence? 50 ton stone blocks were not just dragged about the world like pebbles for hundreds of miles. So the question has to be, what were the ancient earth inhabitants using to transport these massive blocks hundreds of miles across land? Massive wondrous stones are found all around the globe that are not just beyond our comprehension and scale, but they are also beyond our imagination in size and design. What was driving the ancient people on earth to create the most unimaginable designs 10,000 years ago that are overwhelming even by today's standards? You may be aware of our famous video regarding the heaviest stones ever constructed. If not, see the card in the right hand corner of the screen. In this video, we are going to tell you about the greatest monument in all of ancient Egypt, the unfinished obelisk. Just wait until you hear this one, guys. The heaviest obelisk ever erected in ancient Egypt was 500 tons. Heavy in its own right, but at less than half the weight of the immense construction of the unfinished obelisk of Aswan, you have to wonder what on earth would trigger the imagination of a civilization that would so passionately take on such a grand undertaking. This is a true wonder from the ancient world. The unfinished obelisk is the largest known ancient obelisk in this region and it is located in the northern region of the stone quarries of Egypt in Aswan. Archaeologists claim the female pharaoh known as Hatshepsut sanctioned its construction. However, modern engineers question as to whether the dynastic Egyptians could have achieved this task. We could be looking at an ancient site that was abruptly abandoned during the ancient cataclysm here guys. It is nearly one third larger than any ancient Egyptian obelisk ever erected. If finished, it would have measured around 42 meters and would have weighed nearly 1200 tons. Does that not just blow your mind or what? Aside from the problem of shaping it, how are they presuming to lift it out of the quarry? Not by sheer manpower, that's clearly obvious. The unfinished obelisk is taller than any other known obelisk ever raised. The stone, still attached to bedrock, gives important clues to how the ancients quarried granite. Much of the red granite used for ancient temples and colossi came from the quarries in the Ashwan area, some 500 miles south of Cairo. The unfinished obelisk still lies where a crack was apparently discovered as it was being hewn from the rock, possibly intended as a companion to the Lateran obelisk originally at Karnak, now in Rome. Originally, it was thought that the stone had an undetected flaw, but it's also possible that the quarrying process allowed the cracking to develop by releasing the stress. The bottom side of the obelisk is still attached to the bedrock. What do you guys think of the fantastic sight of the unfinished obelisk? 